Hi everybody, it's Ian from Carry On Touring, in my Carry On Touring capacity today. Why am I doing this video? Well, two years ago, just over two years ago, uh, my fizzog, my face, appeared in the Independent newspaper uh, after having given some evidence to a committee on Zoom to the UK government about potential solutions for our problem with the 90 and 180 day rule. One that the MU, the ISM, back to live, lots of other people have not supported that particularly, but have their ideas along with ours, aligned with ours for a so-called creative passport, which would eliminate the need for the 90 and 180 day rule. Two years on and many arguments later, a document that I wrote at the time on my behalf, um, I sent round Parliament, I sent round various government departments um, supporting what everyone else was saying with a real solution to what our problems could be. Some of the arguments back from government is that the UK government is that we didn't have something in place um, as an authorisation system to come into the UK. That's changed. It happened this year very quietly called the ETA. Um, and what I'm doing today is I'm going to be renewing that document very, very shortly. And I'm going to post the original document in a link below here uh, to my own website. Um, just to say there is a solution. It is about political will on both the UK side and on the EU side to change this. It's a simple idea in that both, both sides, if you want to call them sides, I'd rather not, but both sides, the EU have ETIAS coming in, that's the new pre-authorisation system. The UK now has the ETA system in place. A simple checkbox on either side saying you're a creative professional needing to enter the Schengen area or the UK for limited periods of time over the course of the year for work purposes as well as any other could create an exemption. It would have to be, um, of course, quantified by both sides to prove that you are a creative professional or a creative um, support worker. Same thing, really. That's the basis of the idea. There is no reason whatsoever for this not to work. It is not removing the need for work permits and visas at all. Each of the EU 27, each one of them have different um, periods of free time for creatives and creative workers working in their countries. There's a link below in the description for that. The UK, although it says it's free to come into the UK for creative work, it is part, it is true, but it's also not so easy necessarily. And there are actually two or three different ways to come in legally to the UK. Some are a little safer than others because you don't have to prove certain things. You do something like a certificate of sponsorship or you come in on the permitted paid engagement route. I'm not going to go into that. Everyone will glaze over and think, what the hell is he talking about? It's because I'm a UK VR registered sponsor for many years and licensed sponsor that I know about a lot of that. And the Schengen visa going into Schengen, which if you want to work, is for each country that you're going to work in. I'm not going to get into too much details, but anyway, the 90 and 180 day rule sits on top of all of that. It sits on top of the requirements for visas and work permits. We're not saying change that. It would be great if we could, but we're not. We're talking about ridding ourselves of this 90 and 180 day rule, which impacts creatives and creative workers far more than anyone else because of the nature of the work which we all do requires us to drop in and out for very short periods of time and sometimes those periods of time count up to a point where you can't enter the areas even though legally if you were in those areas in the area of Schengen you could work in a particular country because of the free time that they give creative workers in that country 90 days in France 90 days in Germany 30 days in Austria 30 days in Poland I think it's 12 days in Czech Republic although it's complicated six weeks and any 13 weeks in the Netherlands. But the problem is you can't get into Schengen to take advantage of those free periods of work because the Schengen 90 in 180 day rule, the UK 90 in 180 day rule prevents you doing that. So anyway, there you go. Two years after that original independent article, I'm doing this because things have changed. 
things will change in the future and in a couple of years time there's a renegotiation of the TCA that's the trade agreement that's written into the agreement for anyone who doesn't know so anyway that's my pinging at you for today the next video for carry on touring I'll be doing on the four basic elements that have now created problems for us and how we want to deal with those going forward what our main focus is at the moment is this but there are other areas but that's coming soon take care carry on working carry on touring and stay positive see you soon this is ian smith signing off from carry on touring